And um, what do you think is the realistic expectation um, for the possible effect of N-acetylcysteine in the step and one related myopathies? I think we have reasonable proof that this drug effectively corrects the primary, the basic defect in this myopathy. I think it is very reasonable to think that if we get a good dosage, if we get the good markers to evaluate its effect in muscle, giving this drug to young patients at the beginning of the disease can protect their muscles from sustained oxidative stress and therefore can either correct the disease or at least attenuate and alleviate evolution and reduce the complications of the disease. I think this is very reasonable to expect. What we hope for, but is not sure, is that this drug can also slightly increase muscle strength, and particularly in those muscles which are more relevant for the patient's quality of life and general prognosis, which are respiratory muscles, and particularly the diaphragm. Great. And has there been any other studies in other animal models that may also support evidence that this drug could work um, in a form of uh, congenital myopathy? No. To my knowledge, this is the first time that this drug is used in a congenital myopathy or congenital muscular dystrophy, but there have been studies using this drug on other models of muscular dystrophy with uh, partially good results and above all this drug has been used in other human conditions such as cystic fibrosis and has been shown to really ameliorate, improve the, the parameters of oxidative stress in lungs with clinical relevance. There are less episodes of infectious complications and the general quality of life of patients improves. So I think uh, the results from its use in other mouse models of muscle conditions plus the results of its use in other human diseases are quite encouraging as to our chances of getting positive results in, in, in this condition. And um, one last question, if you can maybe address, um, given that it is a um, drug with a proven safety track record, um, why do we need to go through a clinical trial? Mm -hmm. This is a very good question. I think this trial will help us understand better the mechanisms that are involved in this disease will definitely allow us to identify biomarkers and we can use this knowledge for other future trials in this condition and in other related conditions. And above all, I think this is very relevant because it would be the first time that we have a primary defect that can be effectively targeted with a drug that selectively restores this defect. So I think this trial can represent an important proof of concept of the fact that you can address genetic defects, some genetic defects, not all, but some of them, with drugs, which are for some of them in the market. So I think this is what makes it more necessary. Of course we can use the drug as an off-label indication, but we would miss all this knowledge that can make other trials possible and easier for this condition and for other related conditions. Great. Do you have anything else that you want to add? Uh, well, no, that I think this is really the beginning of a new uh, age for these disorders. We're just at the beginning of seeing new concepts arriving in these diseases. And this might not be the perfect answer, but we will learn a lot from these trials, 
from this trial and for, for, for what we will work and will not work. And I'm sure we will see new concepts arriving in the years to come that are going to represent a revolution for this field. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thanks to you.